Hi guys, it's Bob Gill from Gill Skills. I just wanted to give you a tour of the garage to let you see where I do all my scrapping. So I'm going to take you for a short little ride. This is my little man cave. It's a little cluttered right now, but uh, it is a fairly big garage. There's my beautiful blue Harley there. The green one is a friend of mine's. And then, of course, I've got a garage that goes back a little further there. Here is basically the man cave's nerve center, if you will. Got my refrigerator, which has my soda and beer in it, and my bench, and my TV, PlayStation, receiver, and all that fun stuff. As you can see, I do have various projects that I do work on. Like I'm um, dewinding a copper bearing uh, motor there. And there's another transformer motor that I am working on getting the copper out of. And some windings there, or excuse me, fans. And I'm building my way up with uh, gold fingers so that I can do a video for you folks on how to extract the gold and refine it. And some miscellaneous stuff from computers. And, of course, there is a monitor that I'm going to uh, scrap in another video. So if we look down here, um, this is my seat where I kind of watch TV. Um, I'm not the type of person that can sit down in a recliner and do nothing and watch TV. So I like to sit down and strip copper. Uh, it's more productive. I mean, it does make money. Not much, but it makes more money than sitting down on the couch or uh, recliner and doing nothing. So as you can see, there's some boards already on there and I am disassembling some power supplies. Here is where I put my number one and number two. And I keep that handy because obviously uh, copper is the most sought after, so that's what I'm looking for. And then I've got a bin for dirty stuff. Uh, right now it's kind of dirty, but this is where I put my dirty stuff. I've got some nickel-plated copper in there, too, um, that I'm going to take out and separate at some point. I've got some platters in there, too, that are going to be separated at some point as well. Got all the unprocessed wire here um, that I do strip on my spare time. If it's worth it, if it's too small, I'll just simply bring it to the scrapyard. Um, and they, they do pay you. They pay you less per pound for wire that has, you know, an insulated coating on it, but you still do get paid for it. Um, and there's some cable and whatnot. Here, I've got my aluminum. And uh, usually takes me about a year to get a decent load of uh, copper and aluminum to bring in. And, you know, I like to have a, a decent payday, you know, about $1,000. Uh, right now, the the, uh, the cost or the, excuse me, the price per pound that, that the scrapyards give you is kind of low. Uh, it's been low for a while now, so I, uh, I'm holding on to everything I've got and I'm building up. And when it gets up above $2 per pound for number one and number two copper, that's, I'll consider, you know, trading everything in at that point. So there's that, and then we come over finally to um, the bin that has, oh, has all of my um, motherboards and things that I've stripped out of computers over the course of time. And there is a decent amount per pound that you can get from motherboards right now. You can either sell them on eBay, or you can turn around and... Um, sell them at the scrapyard. The scrapyards do take them to. Some do, some don't, so you want to make sure that you call ahead just to make sure. 
And then, of course, this bin right here is um, kind of a miscellaneous pile right now. It's got some power supplies in it. It's got some transformers in it, too, as you can see. Um, those transformers, the majority of them, are basically coated aluminum. Um, debating on whether or not I just want to strip them and separate the aluminum or just kind of bring it to the scrapyard as is. Um, they will take it as kind of a mixed metal type thing and they pay less per pound for it. Um, but it's kind of a, uh, basically you have to weigh the hassle versus what you're going to get out of it. You know, the extra money you would get if you separated the metals. And of course I keep all the wire and whatnot separated as well. Um, you know, from the computers and the power supplies and whatnot, and you, you do get paid by the pound for that stuff too. Look at these things, my gosh. I pulled these things out of a one computer the other day, and I found the computer in a dumpster. I found two computers in a dumpster. Um, by no stretch of the imagination do I dumpster dive, but, I, you know, if I do see something or if I catch something, if I'm throwing something away, I'm surely not going to let it go to waste you know, if there's an opportunity for money to be made. But uh, that's that's pretty hefty. And to find two of those bad boys in one computer tower, that's actually pretty amazing. It must have had, uh, must have been pretty high powered for its day. Oh, I also did forget to mention that, you know, of course I build up uh, light iron too. You know, all the computer chassis and whatnot that I've disassembled and scrapped and whatnot uh, are here. Uh, I've got an old uh, washing machine here that has been scrapped. It no longer works, and I'm going to scrap it. Um, so I do have all of that as well. I, I also have some more over here. There's that other monitor I'm going to be stripping. Uh, but I do have a microwave that I'm going to be scrapping, and there's some other metals in there mixed in. All right, guys, that's it in a nutshell. Uh, I just wanted to take the opportunity and show you my man cave digs and to show you where I strip my copper and uh, separate everything and whatnot. It's not a perfect operation. Um, I don't claim to be perfect. So, you know, of course, if anybody has a better way of doing it, definitely feel free to comment below. Uh, I'd certainly like to hear your thoughts on it. Um, but that is how I do it. That's uh, the man cave in which I do it in. And I'm hoping to post more videos uh, showing you some more tips on how to make a little extra money scrapping and where you can find uh, copper, gold, and aluminum and all that fun stuff. So stay tuned. Happy holidays, everybody. Um, I should have another video coming out before Christmas. But if I don't for some chance, I wanted to wish everybody a happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Uh, and enjoy the holiday season. So uh, take care and have a great day.